Yeah. I can see you, my boy. What's good? How you been? Making right here because I've got some crazy stuff, dude. I, I've been thinking about this for like a week. I saw you got the Limitless Season 2 going on, right? <sighs> yeah, so what we did in Season 1 was just we did these like live takeover type things where we went to lives of celebrities and we just like begged to be in and when we got in we blew their minds and create relationships with them I, let me point out real quick because i don't want to start right away until we get everybody in here i do want to point out i'll point it out several times there's an envelope with something in there and a card i've got two predictions for you they're up there okay all right <laughs> uh, they're far away i can't touch them i want you to see that okay all right <laughs> it looks like i can but I'm, I'm like still pretty far away yeah, yeah i see your hand like grasping yeah Dude, why don't I get started with something crazy just to kick it off? Can I? Yeah, bro. I'm ready, like, yo, I'm ready to see it all. I saw you on LL Cool J shit. I was like, oh, this man really blew up. Yeah, uh, I've got some, dude, and I'm doing some stuff with uh, Floyd Mayweather right now, and it, it's nuts. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I don't deserve it. I literally don't. I, I woke up and, like, ate cereal in my underwear one day, and <laughs> it is what it is. Hard all right, Rich, what do you think most people wish for if they could wish for something? That's why, you're, that's why you do magic. You make wishes come true. That's absolutely true. What do you think most people would wish for? Money. Oh, okay. That's a good answer. Watch this. Woo! <laughs> Yo, can you do it on my, my bank account? <laughs> uh, hold on, you're breaking up. I don't know if I heard what you said. Hold I on. Can you do that to my bank account? No, I heard you, bro. I was just trying to get away from it. So I've got five. Th by the way, this is chump change. This isn't good money. I wish... I wish I could do a little bit better. Uh, as a magician, I probably can. Let's see if we can do this here. If you could change money, what would you change it into? Hundreds. Oh, I thought you were going to do 20s. All right, you made it hard for me. Uh, <laughs> I got to stretch before this one. Ugh, here we go. All of them right now. Boom. Look, every single <laughs> bill. No singles. Yo, I need to mail you some dollar bills. <laughs> I won't mail them back, but I appreciate the donation, though. <laughs> Yo, that shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's, how, that's how you got that Louis shirt. You went to the store. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's actually, it's, it's, it's funny how, uh, like, I did magic places, and I think people are going to, like, really, like, they're going to care about it. But I think you need to know you're going to see a magic trick before you see one. Because one time I did this thing where I bought this pint of ice cream. It was $6, but I only had five, like I just showed you. And I was like, ah, hold on. And I snapped and changed them into fives. And the cash register, like, the guy at the cash register was just blank stare, like, dude, hurry the fuck up. Like, come on. <laughs> you thought you'd be cool, like, here you go, do a little trick for him. It's yeah. also hard because a lot of what I do is, like, in hip-hop culture, I, I try to hang out a lot with people who, because I know people in hip-hop, they blow up so fast, and there's this community about supporting each other and really, like, being there to shout each other out and uh, collab. And so that's why I wanted to be a part of this culture. Um, plus, I grew up in it. And I think one of the things, too, about, like, they think like a lot of people in hip hop culture think magic should be like this cheesy stuff. Like you're gonna do stuff like this, like you know, which is cool, but it's like, you know. <laughs> but this next thing I'm gonna show you, you're gonna see why why I made it. Okay. <laughs> I've got a deck of cards here. I'm gonna riff through the cards, and I want you to just memorize one, not not the bottom one, because that's that's too easy. Okay. All right, I got one in my head. All right, well, I'm going to flip through them. You're going to memorize one, so it's completely random, because you're probably thinking of, like, the Ace of Spades. No, nah, I had a four of hearts in my head. Oh, well, now you told me. All right, here we go. I'll ripple through. Just memorize one, not the bottom one, okay? All right. Want me to do it again? Let's do it like this. It might be easier. I'll go through. Just say stop. All right, all right. Stop. Okay. I'm not going to look. I'll turn my head so I can't see. Okay. Got it? Yep. Goes in the middle. And right here, I had a prediction on the wall. I've got this. It says, your card is... Nah, hold on. Let's see. <laughs> Wait, was that the card I saw or the card in my head? No, the, the card you saw. That wasn't it? Nah, that wasn't it. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Let me try this. Uh, your card is the five state, but it's not. All right, watch. See if we can make this happen. Watch. The fuck? <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo, how did the car move like that, though? Wow. Was that it? Yeah, that was it. Wow. Woo! What the fuck? 
<laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, that's crazy. How long ago did you start training in magic or like learning or? Uh, I was about six years old and I wasn't like, I wasn't really dead set on it until I was 13. And then ever since I've been 13, I, I haven't stopped, you know? Oh, that's crazy. That car was moving itself. That's fucking. I, you're messing with your eyes, man. I love to do that type of stuff. Um, <laughs> speaking of messing with your eyes, let me make myself a little drink. I, I don't really drink Dr. Pepper like that, but. Diet Dr. Pepper at that. <laughs> Which is even worse, man. Diet Dr. Pepper tastes the most like real soda though out of all of them. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can do this. I don't even need this anymore. Let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the camera. We're working on this. Just below. I like Dr. Pepper because it's kind of light. That's what they call it. They call it light flavor. Look. Sometimes even like too light. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Where'd the drink? <laughs> Where'd the drink go? Yo, that shit is crazy. I know. I always wish I could like I could get my drink back because now I don't even get to drink my Dr. Pepper even if I don't like it that much. Uh, watch, watch the dents. Watch this. <laughs> okay. Watch the hole. Watch the hole. Nah. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting closer to the camera. Like I'm getting closer to the camera. Yo, that's fucking. <laughs> Nah, you pour it out though. Yeah. <laughs> nah, son. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Deja vu. Yo, that's fucking crazy. Dude, I do it with beers. At uh, like whenever I go out for beers, like to the bar, I like always. Get, I get a bunch of beers. I like, set up that trick, and so like people are always wondering about what I'm doing over here, and then like I'm refilling cans of beer and handing them out. It's the coolest thing, man. Like people go crazy for it. Nah, yeah, that's fucking nuts. Like, you had the drink, you poured it out, and then you rubbed it. <laughs> so, um, I, th I thought of two things I wanted to try to do, but I wanted to be a little bit more meaningful with you. Um, I was going to have you think of a song, because you listen to so much music, and you listen to so much new music, there's probably some songs that you know that you really vibe with that I haven't even, like, thought to look up on Spotify, you know what I mean? Like, they, like I I'm sleeping in bed not even knowing these songs exist, right? So I was going to do something with a song, but I thought, but maybe I've been watching your hip hop hour and I kind of know what songs you listen to, which ones you like. Like, I just wanted that to, nobody to even think that I could know. So zoom in on this envelope back here. It says, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. It's written backwards because of the camera, but it says first memory. Okay. Okay, so there's a word written on that on the other side. It says first memory. What I'm gonna ask you to do is uh, think of your first memory, your earliest memory. I'm sure you have one. Okay. You do? Wait, like my first memory of life? Yeah, like the first memory that you can remember as far back as you can. I, I think I got one. You got it. Okay, so if you're comfortable sharing it, I'll ask you to share it. If you're not, you can tell me. But do you mind sharing it with everybody? We'll get personal with Rich here. Um, yeah, I guess like, you know, my first memory that I can remember far back enough, honestly, just probably graduating from preschool. What a kid you remember that? Do you remember like, what your name was or anything? You said what? Do you remember what your teacher's name was or anything? I don't remember the, the, the teacher, but I remember it because that's my earliest member, memory of one of my earlier best friends in life. Dang, and, and, and you remember his name? What was his name? Uh, Rich LeConte. Oh, it was also Rich. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably Dude, well, I don't imagine like little kids named Rich, you know, people call him Richie, stuff like this. So that's crazy. So if you had to take this whole memory and okay. sum it up into one word, what would it be? Would it be rich? Would it be graduation? Would it be success. preschool? <laughs> my, my first success, graduating from preschool. So, oh, so, I didn't hear what you said. You said success? Success. Now, you, bro, where are you from, by the way? I live in Jersey. Jersey, because you say the S's in, in the C's of success. You say success. Uh, I, lived rich... I lived in Virginia for a while. Oh, dude, that's where I'm from. I'm in Richmond, Virginia right now. Oh, I almost got my first DUI in Richmond, Virginia. That's not a good That's story. I wouldn't tell it on live, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I was in that Newport uh, News, though. Okay, yeah, dude, Newport News, you, did you have military uh, family or no? Yeah, I was in the Army. Okay, that I know, because Newport News, that's like the only thing you're going to find, military people. Uh, look, I'm going to zoom in a little bit right here. You can see it says first memory. I have obviously haven't been over there. I can't even reach to touch it. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to grab it from, this, uh, from the wall. It's stuck to the thumbtack. 
gonna get close to the camera so everybody can see that this is like this is inside. Can you see that? Yeah. Right. Watch this. Now, by the way, there was no way that I knew that you were going to say success. I didn't know you were going to talk about rich. I didn't know that you were going to talk about graduation or preschool, any of that, right? You follow me? Like, you yeah, agree? I feel like I'm about to be mind blown. And what was the word? Success. Nah. <laughs> nah. What the fuck? Yo, when did you write that card, though? <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Bro. I wrote it, I think I wrote it today at 3.40. I was, I no, had to get that's, off. No, that's impossible. Yeah, I mean, I wrote it. How I wrote it like that's home. magic. That's like, I don't even know how that's even possible. That's fucking crazy. Bro. Yeah. That's why you blowing up right there. I, th I think so. Uh, all that or maybe this. I, I have this crazy amount of energy, like. I swear I don't do any cocaine. People think I do because I'm always hyped up. It's all this diet, Dr. Pepper. I've got so much energy, and I can teach you how to have the same amount of energy. You want to learn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so I got this light bulb. I know it looks suspicious to have a light bulb in a bag, but I do not want glass to get everywhere. I know I'm foreshadowing what's going to happen. But what I want you to do is take your two hands, hold them out in front of you. All right. Oh, like imagine energy yeah imagine energy being charged into the palms of your hands like you could be a superhero like static shock or something like that <laughs> really imagine having energy in your hands and i want you to imagine pushing that energy towards the light bulb a little bit go 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 and then you're going to clap your hands on the count of three with all that energy releasing it towards the light bulb ready one two three clap Do I got enough, I don't got enough energy? Hold on, you know, there might be a delay. I'm not really sure why it's, you gotta charge the energy. Charge the energy, push, only clap once. Three, two, one, clap once. That's so, that, that. <laughs> Wait, yo, see? I am a superhero. <laughs> yo, that's fucking, yo, that shit just pop. Nah, son. <laughs> Yo, look, I got magic hands. Do you ain't know? That's I, I like that trick. That's brand new. I like that one a lot. Yo, too. that's Fuck. fire, bro. That's crazy. Cause I'm over here and you're over there and you're holding the bag. Damn. Yeah, nothing. I try to use the see-through bags. So people can see. I used to use one that wasn't that see-through. People want to see everything the moment it happens to th to just to know that there's no tricks, like no no gimmicks, no props. It's all just pure sleight of hand. Nah, you told me I'm a superhero. What? Yo, hold on. I blink. Do it again. All right, all right. Here. I didn't know you were about to do that. Hold on. Hold on. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> here, watch. Yo. One more time. I'm gonna squeeze it in this hand. Hold on, let me adjust the camera. Where'd it go? Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that's fucking crazy. I'm about to Thanks, fall off man. my couch. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate you uh, getting me on here to do this, man. I, I wanted to do one more thing. Um, right. I've been de I've been delaying because I'm I'm nervous about it. <laughs> no, why are you nervous? You're the magic man. I'm nervous because it's dangerous. Um, I might as well just do it anyway. Let me move this light bulb so I don't get glass everywhere. Dangerous. Okay. I'm gonna clear up my little space here. I got a table down here. Uh, it's gonna involve razor blades and an Oreo. Razor blades and Oreos, that's an odd thing. So you know, just like a regular Tuesday night, you know, for Rich. <laughs> You're funny as hell. While I'm, while I'm cleaning this off, do you have a, how did you get into music so heavily? Um, oh shit. It's just something I've always been like, you know, around my whole life. Uh, from being a kid, I've always been drawn to hip hop. Um, you know, growing up, I had like a little microphone and studio set up in my living room. My mom didn't care. So I was just always around music. And I went to the army. And like, I continue to still find myself around people that, that, you know, were artists and did music. Like, I remember being in Iraq one time and like, I was recording some freestyles and fucking like mortars started coming in. What? Um, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's legendary. So, um, and then even when I got out again, again, I somehow found myself around like people that were doing music. So I've always been around it. And I've always loved it. 
And then I want to practice like digital marketing and building something. So I combine like a skill I want to learn with something I was passionate about. And that's how I came up with this. That same thing with me, man. Like uh, as much as I wish that magic was the most of it, it's really the marketing. It really is, you know, so. Um, now you do a good job, I, I, man. Like you're killing it right now. You went literally from a guy asking to suck a balloon or swallow a balloon, swallow it <laughs> alive. Then like next week, you're like on everybody. You're on Ron, I saw you on Ron Suno, you know, LL. Were you on Tory Lanez, right? Uh, I, I, well, sort of. I was on with Bad Internet. Okay. So, <laughs> so I got booted that quick. Girl Savvy. Like you just started popping yeah. everywhere. And then like you just grew exponentially. I was like, yo, this man's out here killing this shit. I'll be at a hundred thousand and give me give me a month. God, yo. <laughs> so you might have a bigger career in marketing and uh, building a platform than Magic. You never know. But yeah, and actually, a lot of people don't know this. My full time job is actually to be a magician. But what I do is I do a magic show and speaking. So I've talked, I've given talks to companies like Facebook headquarters, Merit wow. International. SpaceX, and I talked to them about how to conquer fear and be successful in your workplace by being a leader and kind of going a different path. Because I've done it by doing a magician, which is like being a magician, which is as weird as you can get. You know what I mean? So if I could do it, anybody can, you know? I don't think anybody can do it. I don't know if I'm over here like doing that kind of stuff. That's like to me, like it's dedicated. Well, look, man, this is, I'll tell you why I got into magic. Why do you think? I'll let you take a guess. Why do you think? Well, you said you were sick, so you were probably just a kid that was fascinated. Yeah, but when I was 13, it was really oh. for this. <laughs> did it work though did it work though no it's it still hasn't worked somebody hit my line i no <laughs> you never got i got i gotta use the raggedy towel in case there's blood in this next one this is gonna be crazy <laughs> so oreos I got, and you said razor blades right some oreos and for the haters who think this is not gonna be a real razor blade this is for you oh are those double stuff uh, double stuffed, yeah. That's important, actually. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So we get the idea. This razor blade is going to go inside of an Oreo. And we're going to play Russian Roulette live. Nah, don't do that. <laughs> oh, I just broke this one. Hold on. I got to... I can't, I can't have you, like, bleeding all over on this live. <laughs> Well, listen, I'm going to leave it up to you. So I haven't, I haven't switched this yet, just to be sure, because I, I think I took it out of the frame, just for people to make sure. Mm. Oh, there we go. Good, I didn't break it. This goes in there. I broke it again. Jesus Christ. All right, let me pan this down, because trying to do this in my hands is a little harder. Uh, can you see all this? Yeah, I can see everything. All right, let me try to not waste another Oreo. The... Most deadly thing about this trick is not the razor blade, it's the diabetes and cancer. <laughs> You're funny as hell. I'll be pretty fearful of that razor blade though. All right, there we go. Can you see that it's in there or no? Can I see it? A little bit. Yeah, I can't see it, no. Okay, I'm gonna try to set this down. I'll move these ones that I broke out of the way. It's a snack for later. And I'm gonna get three more Oreos and we're gonna play Russian Roulette and hopefully, you don't make me cut my mouth on your live. No, nah, I pray for your safety. All right. Can you see all the Oreos? Yep, I see all four Oreos. This is where it gets scary. Let me show my hands, my arms. I'm not going to switch anything. I'm going to cover this up right here. I'm going to play some switcheroo. Do you know which one right now has a razor blade, yes or no? No, I have no clue. Okay, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through the Oreos one at a time, and you're gonna call stop. Don't have one in mind, like don't look at the third one and say, okay, I want you to stop on that one, because that's how I get hurt doing this. You need to just literally, whenever you like, say stop. And say it quick, because there is a little bit of delay, so I'll move slow. So okay. let, let's go ahead and you'll just say stop whenever you want. Stop. The second one? Yeah. All right, here we go. Nah, don't. First one. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta pray for you. Uh you're okay. So by the way, okay. By the way, I don't know where it is either, to you be honest. You need some milk, bro. You need some milk. I got Dr. Pepper. Uh, that's the real magic that you live through, Dr. Pepper. No, nah, bro, that tastes good. That's a good. I think I'm on to something. Okay, I, I right. think we're good, though. You live. I don't see no blood. You guys, choking. all I'm going to ask, if you like this, go follow me. I'm literally doing this for no other reason than to earn your love and support. And so, Yo, if man, I cut my tongue... Your life is 
I'm not seeing your throat cut up. We good. We good. All right. We're going to go through. Oh, we're still going. Yeah, we're going to go through until there's one left. Just, you're going to say stop whatever you want. There was a little bit of delay. You're good right here? Yeah, okay. You want to do it again? No, that's fine. That's fine. Wait, are you scared? Yeah, of course. All right, here we, we can do it again. Um, <laughs> you're scared. No. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You ate that one a little faster. I right, think we're good. I think you would have made it. All right. You Which one do you want me to set towards the camera? Um, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. That one, the first one. <laughs> yeah, it's that one. I'm saying this towards the camera so that people don't think I switch it. Can you still see it as an in-frame? Yes, I can see that one. For the haters, because if people think I switch it or I take it out on the last one, watch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we good? Yes, yes. Yo, Rick, I don't know how good. you knew. I don't know how you knew, but look. <laughs> I'm assuming that I didn't eat it because I didn't feel anything. I'm a superhero. Yo! Thank God, bro. I was not trying to see you swap that. Yo, I'm a superhero. I popped a light bulb today, and I saved your life. Bro, and you knew what word I had written in that thing. And I knew what word. Or you knew what word I was going to say somehow earlier in the day. Wow. I'm so happy, honestly, that you did not swallow that razor blade on here. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm too. That went wrong twice on live, believe it or not. No, for real. Yeah, the first time I cut my entire cheek, which actually your mouth heals quickly because it only took about a week and a half to heal. And the other time I just bit down on it and I hurt my tooth before I cut my mouth. I just ended the live because I got, I got super nervous. I just quick ended it. So, uh, but the, yeah, I have a big scar on the inside of my cheek now. I, I guess out here risking cheek. your life. Yeah, definitely. So Trusting the people on the other side of this camera. Yo, you got balls. You're a wild man. That was crazy as fuck. And you ate four Oreos. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Oreo if you guys want to sponsor me, you know. <laughs> yo, that's a sponsorship right there. I can't believe, yo. Wow. I'm so happy. They would not let me put razor blades in them if they were if sponsoring me. If I seen that blood, I don't even know. I probably, yo. <laughs> here's, one, here's one for, like, the cheese, like cheesy magic-wise. Just, like, I'm done, but I just wanted to put this out there. Yo, if you like, if you like um, white Tic Tacs as opposed to, like, what are, like, the, I think they're the orange ones, you're a square. Watch. Whoa. Yo, yo. That's All right, I just had to, I had to test no, that. That's a good way you're saying you need to change your flavor real quick. I like the <laughs> rainbow Tic Tacs, though. I mean, uh, Tic Tacs, Tic Tacs. Rainbow? Like the uh, fruity ones, like they're multiple colors. I'm not hip. All right, well, hey, Rich, thanks for having me on, bro. I'm going to run. I got a lot to take care of. This no, is so awesome. Oh, that was fucking fun. sick. I appreciate you coming through. That was dope as hell. Keep doing your thing. I'll be in soon. Definitely everybody needs to follow you. I got your Instagram name right here, Chris Mike Magic. Bro, I appreciate you. You blew my mind. Anything else you need me to do? Bobby? Do you, do you need anything else? Nah, I think we're good, bro. That was fucking... I need to take a chance to breathe. I got to go smoke, get my mind right. <laughs> you blew my shit right there, so I'm going to holler at you, All right. bro. That was dope. Well, guys, go follow. Send me the screen recording, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.